Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a haul of stuff that I bought from Tesco. Uh, for those of you who aren't from the UK, Tesco is basically like a Walmart or Target. Maybe not as good as them. Um, but yeah, uh, it's like a big supermarket and it has a stationery section. It's not huge or anything, but I am addicted to stationery like so bad. I end up spending like hours in there. Dean always has to drag me out of the store telling me off. Um, and I actually went in Tesco to get a prescription. I'm asthmatic and I went to go get an inhaler. And I accidentally ended up in the stationery aisle and accidentally bought stationery and I actually got some really good bargains so I thought I would share with you guys what I got because some of these things are really cool and I'm gonna experiment with them and possibly do some future review videos on them so let's get into the stationery haul this whole haul was super super cheap so Let's get the receipt out and see how much this was. This whole haul was super cheap. There were things that were on offer um, and I had to get them. And the whole haul cost me 16 pound, which was amazing. Like normally I spent a lot more than that, but because things were on offer, I saved lots of money. And I love saving money. Um, who doesn't love saving money on the way? So, let's get in to the haul. Where should I start? What should I start with? I'll start with this. So, does anyone remember these guys from school? These are an ink cartridge pen. We used to have these in school and I really used to love how it, like, how I wrote with it because it had like a really nice, um, smooth feeling this is a super cheap pen I know proper cartridge pens cost a lot more than this but I actually bought this for illustrating it is currently inktober which is where you draw during October using inks and stuff but I seen this ink cartridge and it was in blue and I thought "Ooh, I wonder what this would look like as an outline for illustration now normally I like to use pencils for outlines but I thought I would experiment with this and it comes with three ink cartridges and this spiky little nib thing. I can't even remember how to install these actually so it'll be interesting to see how you install them. But I got blue ink because I don't really like working with black, I have to be honest. I like black when it's paired with pink and white um, but I just love pastel colours and I, I love blue as an ink outline. Blue and pink are my favourite colour combinations at the moment at the moment so yeah that's why I got this to try inking with it and you'll probably see this in some of my inktobers as an experiment right the next thing I got were these this was in like a little stationery section they have kind of collections and um, where they have like different styles of stationery and they come with folders bookmarks memo pads pens diaries notebooks all that sort of stuff for school and i got these and guess how much this was please guess these were 35 Pink. These are like nice pastel colours with like a lilac and a turquoise and I thought these would be really really cute. It's photo props so that's why I bought these. 35p can't freaking go wrong. Like I couldn't miss out on that. The only thing that I don't really like about these is it comes in this big heavy plastic case and to me it's a bit of a waste because I don't know what I'm going to do with this plastic case. Like. I mean, I could use it, but you'll see why I probably won't use these. Whoa! My chair just went down for no reason. Yeah, you'll see why I won't use these because the next thing I have to show you are these sticky pads, which are super, super cute. But as you can see, they're in the same plastic packaging as the bike paper clips and stuff like that. These again were 35p each and they are so cute but don't you think it's just such a waste to have all this plastic like damn it I don't know what I'm going to do with these I wish I could use them for some reason you can put these as ring binders oh, I don't know it's just a lot of unnecessarily unnecessary plastic in my personal opinion um but 
otherwise other than that it is really cute and these memo pads are actually to add to my Etsy orders I always am on the lookout for cute um, memo pads because I like to write handwritten notes uh, to my Etsy customers and these are a really nice illustration with like pencil and I love texture and stuff like that and I love natural illustrations like this using raw materials too so 70p for both of them so what a freaking bargain am I right so these three were 35p each freaking bargain love a good bargain the next thing I got in the same collection as what you've just seen is this weekly calendar and it's a calendar from 2018 to 2019 which is basically for unorganized people like me who decide midway through during the year that they need a calendar this is on sale as well and this was one pound 25 and i think originally it must have been about five pound but it comes with a little pen attached underneath which is pink so i love that because it's pink oh, and it will just my chair again the gas keeps going down on this chair it's about time i bought a new one i think um it comes with a little pink pen which i find really cute and it's got things like blog ideas out of the day little pen illustrations and i really like the colors on the inside because the colors on the inside are like a lilac -y color so i got that to hang on my studio wall the next thing I got is this little cute flamingo illustration wallet thing that clips out like this. It's really cute. Um, basically, I got this because I like the colours and it was on offer. Again, for super cheap. And I think it was 35p. Again, I don't know why 35p. It's such an odd number, isn't it? 35p. Hmm. But I got this because I use the Winter and Newton Mac uh, sketchbook sometimes. And what I find is the papers come out too easy. They rip out easy. It's not like a sketchbook where the papers all stay intact, if that, if you know what I mean. So they all come loose and stuff. So I thought this would be a really, really good idea to put all of my loose sketches and papers in here. And kind of put the date on the top of when those sketches were. So kind of like a sketchbook, but for my loose sketches and I love stationery like this I used to love clear wallets and I used to get them in pink for school and put all my files in there and feel like cool like going to school like mm, look at my professional like wallet that cost 50p but yeah so that's why I got that can't resist a bargain I literally seen it first and then I thought what can I use it for <laughs> I seen the price and then I was like think Catherine think how can you use this in your daily life so yeah that's that the next thing I got were the Sharpies. I always pass the Sharpies in Tesco and these were a bargain. So apparently they were £25 reduced to £7.50. £7.50 for all of these markers and this one is the fine point sharpies so i thought this would be really really cool to experiment with and uh, there's some really nice pastel pink colors over here and some nice colored blues they look like the same color blue don't they those three here look like the same color blue i hope they're not so it'll be interesting to see how these work with illustrations so let me know in the comments if you want to see me review these, review these and I will review them with you I'll open them with you and I'll review them with you and we can see what they're like together and see if I like them so for £7.50 I thought that was a flipping bargain and with them being fine point I can even use them to handwrite my notes for my Etsy orders so yeah I got them so I'm excited to use them I love a bargain and the last thing that I got from Tesco is this Oliver Jeffers illustration book and it is the day the crayons quit you've probably seen this around I'm pretty sure this is one of the best sellers that he's done oh yeah there we go number one New York Times best seller and if you don't know I love Oliver Jeffers he's one of my favorite illustrators he's very creative I love the textures he uses I'm such a sucker for the kind of minimal childlike illustrations that he does they're not to everyone's taste I 
know some people prefer illustrations where there's a lot more detail but this is the type of illustration that I just love I can't explain why I like it so much but I just love the minimal look and I think he actually did the hand lettering in um, crayons I really want to try crayons actually as illustrations so as you can see here he's got some illustrations that look like children illustrations he's probably actually got a child to illustrate this I'm not sure and then his pen his little crayons here it's just so creative and fun and he's used mixed media for this my ultimate dream is to have a range of children's books in the future which would be so amazing so penguin or harper collins or anyone if you're watching this that would be pretty wicked wouldn't it um but that has always been my dream i've always naturally drew childlike stuff like since growing up i've drew childlike things cute animals and characters it's just just my passion i think i was born to draw cute stuff um so i just had to pick up this book i'll leave a link in the description below for this book so you can pick it up too i eventually want to have a huge collection of oliver jeffers books i want to collect all his books uh, i've started collecting um illustration books and things like that recently i never used to because um i used to be kind of like a minimalist not minimalist but i used to just chuck out a lot of stuff and not keep a lot of bulk but lately i've started investing in uh, things that make me super happy so children's books <laughs> make me happy <laughs> is that strange is that is that weird actually that I like true no it's not weird it's more for the illustrations and the story and I just I can spend all day just like sat like looking really closely at the illustrations and textures I absolutely love it so that's why I treated myself to that and then he's also got a sequel of this called the day the crayons came home or something like that I think it's called so that's my next purchase and I'm just gonna keep collecting them and I love him but he's just so bloody clever so that's basically it that's what I got from my Tesco haul I hope you enjoyed it I love a freaking bargain I can't believe all this stuff only cost 16 pound I am so buzzing the only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is all this plastic Tesco please reduce the amount of single use like I mean I mean maybe some people would use these um and that's the point of them I don't know that's the only downside to this haul I would say is all this thick plastic wrapping on these I, I think they're a little bit unnecessary but that's just my personal opinion uh so yeah thank you very much for watching this video as always i love you so freaking much leave a comment below because i love to read all your comments i can't reply to every single one but i read them all anyway and connect with each other if you're a creative got instagram you're an illustrator you're a crafter you're an artist or you're just starting to get into that sort of stuff um leave talk to each other below it's amazing the community here on youtube and i have made so many real life friends now through connecting over the internet honestly it can change your life the people you know and hang around with so connect with each other down below uh chat to each other be nice don't be nasty no one's got time to be nasty ain't nobody got time for that and i love you and i'll see you all in the next freaking video i love you so so much all right then love you goodbye